Hello, this is Robert with Self Reliant Mindset. Out here in my shop today, actually going to work on a, pro a project for my wife. Uh, we've had the opportunity to uh, cook off of what they're calling the discata. And basically, it's kind of like a wok shaped device that is made out of an old tractor disc blade. And uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie Boggs from Burning River Bushcraft was making some of these for a few people. And I actually ended up, he had one he hadn't made, a disc blade, um, that he hadn't made up yet, and I purchased it off of him. Uh, we was actually looking around for some, so my wife has been really wanting one for uh, us to take camping with us, and we're actually going to put it next to our grill on the front porch uh, so we can cook off it on a daily basis if we needed to. So basically, I was going to show you how we do this here. I'm going to flip you around. This is a... 24 inch disc blade and of course they have the hole in the center where the shaft of the disc went and we're going to have to fill that up so what I've done so far is I've taken a bolt out of my bolt bin and uh, I've had to grind some flats on there to get it to fit in the square hole I got it in there and then now we're going to take the welder and I'm going to start welding that in I need to weld that solid on front and back side I may have to take another little washer to help fill that in over there and then once we're done with that, then we're going to sit there and fill that, uh, grind that all down. And then I got a flapper disc and a wire wheel. And then we're going to clean this all up, get all the paint off of it, and clean it up and polish it up nice and smooth on both sides. And then I probably need to grab me some rebar or some stock and come out with a couple of handles that go out and back in so we could grab a hold of this to move it around a little easier. Uh, wouldn't be necessary, but just for moving it around. Um, I think it would uh, be a nice addition that and it helps uh, if you got a pair of tongs or whatever on the ones we've used had handles on them and it's a great place to hang your utensils off the side anyway um, you can when this is in use you could actually put a couple logs around and have a bed of coals and set this right on a coals of the fire and uh, or um, the way we're going to use it here at the house we got an old turkey fryer um, that we can set it on the burner there and you turn that burner you don't have to have it on very high just a little low flame and it'll heat up the center and uh, you can cook uh, cook in the center and as things are cooking you can actually move them up the side a little bit uh, where it's not so hot um, all your grease kind of runs into the center so you can kind of fry and cook and there's all kinds of different ways to do this so um, got some extra washes here grabbed out of the bolt bin but we only need one so we're going to get out the old Lincoln Arc welder and plug it in and uh, we're going to get to uh, welding that hole up so we can get to doing a lot of grinding. So, all right, we'll uh, catch you later. As you can see here, we got it welded up, ground down on both sides. I took them washers. I took them washers and I... Uh, Got, got that all welded up and kind of ground down. Now we got to get the rest of the paint off of this for one thing, and then we need to put some handles on it. So we'll see what we can get done. I have tried to tried to use a flapper disc, and it doesn't seem to want to take that paint. That paint is kind of baked on or something. But uh, I'm going to have to. I don't know if I'm going to just have to throw this in a fire, let it burn all that off, and then finish this off. And then uh, need to figure out some handles, see if I got something in the scrap bin uh, to bend some handles up, make some handles for this. So, all right, we'll catch you later. Well, keeping with the farm theme, I grabbed some uh, steel electric fence posts and cut them and bent them and welded them into place. They're still a little warm here. And we got some handles on the discata now. So I gotta clean up them welds a little bit and they're all slagged up right now. And then I gotta figure out how to get this paint burn off of here, ground off of there and get it all polished up. All right, we'll catch you later. Okay, here we go. The handles on there. I tell you what, I hope I got enough of that paint off of that. I sat there and heated it up with the torch and then I used the flapper disc 
and I got both sides. But I went ahead and hooked onto the turkey fryer there and uh, heated it up and oiled it. So uh, hopefully the next clip will uh, maybe cook something in it. All right, we'll catch you later. Hello, this is Robert with Self-Reliant Mindset. Here we're gonna wrap up this uh, Discada videos here. Um, got off work today, kinda hungry. So uh, it's probably not the proper thing to cook on this, but we're gonna cook on it anyway, this. So I'm gonna have a quick lunch here. Here's the Discada, I got the turkey fryer going. Got it nice and hot, getting the hot on there. Got me a little wooden spatula here look at those handles do come in handy <clears throat> we're gonna make some toasted cheese sandwiches and, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to cook but we're gonna throw a couple of them on there a couple pieces of cheese sorry I'm trying to cook one-handed and butter side up I got a nice sizzle going and the way I like my grilled cheese, I like garlic salt on them. So we're gonna So this thing would be great. You can do, you can fry bacon in this thing and scramble eggs and this, this thing's really really great for for cooking several different things. Especially if it's really hot out and you don't want to heat up the inside of your house, come out here and cook on the discata. Like I said, this thing's made out of a disc blade from from the farm. I showed you how to weld the center in there and grind it all down and and stuff. And in close here, give it another give it another half a minute or so here. I don't have my camera stand and I'm using my phone here. So. Yeah, who needs flipping tools here? We'll just... Now, the thing about this is it's going to cook really hot in the center. Oh man, look at that. That's almost perfect toasted cheese right there. That one you can see it was that area right there was over there, but I'm going to still call it good. And I'm just using it as a griddle today, but you can use it as a fry pan, stir fry pan, wok, whatever. This this one's really big. This is 24 inch, like I said in the previous videos. But uh, today we're just trying it out. You can see I'm not even using the utensils, but. Go ahead and kick that off. Clean up our mess here. And we'll sh shut that down and shut our gas off so no accidents. Everything's off. You can see that thing's got quite hot. So I'm going to enjoy me some lunch. You guys have a great day. This is that fancy, nice little quick and easy. Um, before I kicked on the camera, I just fired it up. It only took a, about a half a minute or so to heat it up nice and good and hot to cook them sandwiches and stuff. And maybe later on we'll do some videos on uh, on cooking some, some other stuff. So, all right. This is Robert, Self-Reliant Mindset. This is a Discada. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you later.